So first question, why did you choose Max PA program? So this question, I'm going to be completely candid with everyone. I was only going to apply. So there are three PA schools in Canada. I was only going to apply to the two in Ontario. So UFT and McMaster. I only received an interview for McMaster, not UFT. But I will say that I am so fortunate that I did because McMaster's program, I feel like caters to so many aspects of myself as a learner. There are certain parts of McMaster's just program and education structure that really cater to the things that I like. So we operate using PBL based learning. And I believe we have a question about that coming up. So I won't go too much into detail about what PBL is just yet. But basically PBL is problem based learning. So essentially we use various patient cases to guide how we go about our learning. And then we all congregate together as a group and we discuss. So essentially, I really love that because I find that myself as a learner, it takes me a little bit longer to actually, you know, ensure that the material is like concrete in my brain. And it takes me a little bit longer to go over concepts and to ensure that I get them just because the way that I learn is different than my classmates. So as opposed to like lecture style learning where you kind of have to, you know, be on the ball as the lecture is going and take notes. I really love PBL learning because it allows me just to go at my own pace. You know, maybe my classmates will take three hours to prepare for our PBL classes, but maybe it'll take me six. But then by the time that we come to class, we'll be able to have a very meaningful discussion about what we're intended to learn about. So I really like kind of the flexibility of McMaster's PBL learning because I'm able to take as little or as much time as I feel is appropriate for me and my needs as a learner and learning all about the different like nuances of medicine that we get to go on to learn about. So I really love that. I also just really love the aspect of group learning. When I was an undergrad, I was almost intimidated by it just because I felt like I never knew enough to study with other people. And if I didn't know enough, then I'd look dumb in front of my peers. But I love group learning now because it's really pushed me to show that just because I don't know a particular topic well enough or as well as someone else, that doesn't make me dumb or that I don't know what I'm talking about. That's just an area that I'm not particularly strong in. And I love group learning because I'm always expanding my knowledge. And you know, a classmate of mine will bring up a resource that I didn't even think to check or I didn't even think to look at. And I really love that because you get to really build on your classmates. And plus there's also just that very personable connection. You know, having a conversation about medicine, it's less intimidating I find than the classic lecture styles. So that's really why I'm grateful that I had the opportunity to go to McMaster PA program. It's really just been honestly highlighting all of the things about myself as a learner that I didn't know until I started the PA program. The way that I studied in undergrad was totally different than the way that I study now. And I think it's really, it's really building a foundation for my clinical reasoning skills, which is so valuable because I feel as though when I start my profession, when I go on to become a PA, or even when I go on clerkship in second year, just because I might not have all of the facts memorized, I feel like I have the foundational structure to know where to find information and how to think about problems in a medical clinical setting. So I really love that about the program. It really harps on, you know, thinking about why we do what we do as opposed to just knowing all of the information and not asking any questions. So I really love that about Mac. And that's kind of why I'm happy to be in the program. For me, I only applied to McMaster. I never applied to U of T. Um, I did have the hours, but I unfortunately didn't really look into like I looked into the programs in terms of how they taught um and again an acceptance is an acceptance um if I if the roles were reversed I would have gone to U of T but I did want to change up the way I learned so when I was in undergrad it was very lecture style learning it was the traditional sitting in a room with 600 under other individuals and you know taking the notes going home and memorizing and then regurgitating that information on a test I didn't love that because I realized that in fourth year, I wasn't carrying any of the knowledge that I had back from my other courses. Like if I took a course, all the other information from my previous courses was thrown out. I couldn't, like the information wasn't sticking and I didn't know why, I didn't know if it was the way I was studying 
or the way I was being taught, but I knew that going forward into my next um, steps, whatever they would be, I wanted to change up the way that I was learning and the way that I was studying. And I knew that, you know, the challenge of McMaster's PBL um, would do that for me. And so it kind of worked out in my favor that I was able to apply to Mac and I had the requirements and they were also the school that had the education style that I was looking for. So just like Tony said, you know, PBL, it's really new. It's really different um, in terms of the way they deliver the information. It's nothing like the way I was taught in undergrad where you would kind of sit and listen. You are participating the entire time. In fact, you are leading the conversation most of the time. Um, nobody's there to kind of give you the information. You have to find it and you have to bring it to the table. And what I love so much about that is because you don't have to know everything. I felt that in undergrad, like I was memorizing the captions underneath the pictures in my lecture slides. Like it was getting ridiculous. <laughs> and so I was like, I need to be in a learning environment that's different. And what's so nice, just like Tony was saying about this program is that when you're in a group of eight individuals, you all have different backgrounds. You know, like I did a minor in neuro and the people in my group, you know, some did microbiology, some did biochemistry, some did arts. Like, it's just so cool the different things that people can bring to the table. And it also impacts the, you know, the way that you learn, the way that you bring things up. Um, and so again, like that collaborative aspect is so great because not only is it like helping me learn and solidify that information because it's like so conversational, um, so much less intimidating, but it's also, I feel like it's preparing me for the future because as a PA, we all know we're going to be collaborating in, you know, healthcare teams. We're going to be collaborating with the people that we work with, the physicians, the nurses, the, the entire team. And so I feel like this is kind of solidifying, you know, the way that I'm going to be working. And so it's so nice that I also get to learn that way. For me, I knew the lectures were not gonna work for me. Um, so for me, honestly, U of T was out of the question. I just couldn't commit to um, any more lecture style learning because I knew that the information wasn't going to stick. Um, and I felt that I needed a challenge. I needed to kind of step out of that comfort zone. But just like everyone says, an acceptance is an acceptance. Um, again, if the roles were reversed, like I would be a U of T, you know what I mean? Um, so at the end of the day, um, you can make that style, like you can learn the way you want to learn. Even if I was at U of T, maybe I would have incorporated some of the um, concepts elsewhere. I would have tried group learning, um, but it is really nice that McMaster does enforce that PBL because it's really changed the way I am and it's changed the way I learn. Um, and it's truthfully made it a lot easier for me. So that's really why I kind of chose to go to McMaster. <laughs>